Good morning, everybody. This is Sean Dugan with Parmley Law Firm, and I'm one of the attorneys out of the Springfield, Missouri Parmley Law Firm office. And today I'd like to talk to you about two critical concepts that I believe that all first time applicants need to be aware of. Number one is the burden of proof. When an individual contacts the agency, let's say, for example, that they have a lower disc herniation, it's not the agency's job to put together evidence to demonstrate that you can still work despite that impairment. It's actually your responsibility or your representatives to demonstrate that the evidence as a whole, which may include your daily living activities, work history, medical records, statements from friends and family, demonstrates that you are no longer fit be able to work at this particular time. Because it makes sense when you think about it. If you walk in my office and say you have a lower uh, disc herniation, I, I've known people that have lifted and carried 50 pounds with that. Now, should they be lifting and carrying 50 pounds? Probably not, but that doesn't change the fact that they still can. And it doesn't change the fact that different medical problems can affect people very differently. And the agency has to know how your particular issues affect you. So treatment is absolutely critical and crucial to being able to go through this process effectively, because that has to be communicated to your, the agency to be able, for them to be able to make a determination about disability. Here's the other important factor, cooperation. If you fail to cooperate, Social Security can deny you on that basis. And that can often have very long-standing consequences for an individual's case. Uh, for example, if you don't turn in paperwork properly or you don't attend their examinations, that, that oftentimes they'll make a determination without considering what effect your conditions have on you at all. So if your case continues onward and makes its way over to a judge, that has multiple consequences for the judge. Perhaps the judge doesn't want to order another examination because you didn't attend the last one. Or the judge can't make a decision right away because they have no medical idea where your conditions stand and they need to order an examination or have a doctor looked at it that could have looked at it at the very start. So if there, I understand there's a lot about this process that's confusing. You probably wouldn't be here watching this video with me right now if all of it made sense which is why I encourage if any of you do have questions about this process, questions about paperwork or questions about what exactly the agency would need to look at, please contact one of our specialized attorneys here at Farmley Law Firm and we would be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful rest of your day.